I've never put my hands on a female before. I've never heard a female before. In Jason's video, No More Lies, where he's wearing an anti-abuse shirt, not only is he wearing the shirt in the video, but you also did a whole photo shoot in the shirt with abuse crossed out to promote your video. And you want to give away anti-abuse shirts, offer them to your fans saying, hey, who wants a shirt? However, in your whole No More Lies video words, you're supposed to be talking about the abuse allegations. You failed to mention the marks you left on my neck didn't bring up one time. That are still, wait, 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 they're still here. Hold on, we got some water. Oh, shit. oh, shit. oh wow. Kind of faded, but they're still there. You feel to mention the marks on my neck that I posted on my and my abuse video that you barely touched on, but we're not gonna even talk about that. You also didn't address the messages between me and you about the situation. But let's keep going though. But let's keep going though. But before I play this video recording of a conversation me and Jason had on August 30th, I just want to say, I'm done saving you. Period. I'm done saving you. I've been way too nice and saving you for way too long. So today, I am done saving you. Run the clip. When I, when I hit you, it, it was to grab right. your attention. It's fine. Make you look my way, bro. I am not a liar. I am not an abuser. When I hit you, if you're lacking energy on me, I'm gonna try to do what I need to do to get my energy from you. If it was to grab right. your attention. But if I'm not an abuser, then that means you're making up a fake story, right? Actually, wrong. Mm. Because, Jason, me and you are not the same. And we never will be. I always told you this because, you know, I can't sit here in front of a camera, post a video, fake crying. <sighs> This shit, this shit is getting me. I'm sorry, y'all. To a fan base of mine about a situation that never happened. But you can. Last time I checked, abuse is not something to joke about. And you really think it's a joke. Your whole no more lies. Why didn't you just admit to what you did? We want to prove how sick these people are. Whoa there, buddy. Calm down. Who's really sick? Who's really sick? Cause you even said it yourself. When you hit me, you did it to grab my attention. Hey guys, it's Diamond and this is part two to my previous video. But today in this video, we're gonna be addressing and answering all the accusations Jason has made on my name. Now, I owe it to my supporters, Team Flawless, Flawless Family, my full truth. So as many of you know, in Jason's No More Lies video, where he addresses his abuse allegations, he only touched really mainly on my dad's video for an hour of the whole hour and 37 videos, a full hour of my dad's video. Now, last time I checked, my dad's a third party person. He, this situation is between me and you, Jason. So really, if you're gonna make a video on it, it really should have been towards my video. But let's keep going though. So in my dad's video, he actually addressed being a doctor, a medical doctor, based off Jason's actions and the way he was towards me and everything. I had a mental disorder, like a personality mental disorder. Now, Jason goes and says this. In order for someone to tell you what you're going through, you would have to go get a test or you would have to go to a clinic. To save you some money, Jason, and a little trip to the clinic, I, I'm not no doctor, I'm not no psychiatrist, psychologist, no type of medical doctor and nothing. You know, I'm 18 years old and I'm a pre-med student in college. Yes, I am. However, I do have this book. This is actually the Bible to mental disorders that doctors use to diagnose all the mental disorders that there literally is, is in this book, DSM-5. Now I know it's been a while since you ever touched a book, but let's read a little bit. Let's see, oh, there's a lot of things in here like anxiety, bulimia, schizophrenia. Oh my gosh, I know, big, big words, boring for you, Jason, I know. But page 669, narcissistic personality disorder. Now, this is, has to do with your personality. Number one, has a grandiose sense of self-importance, exaggerates achievements and talents, expects to be recognized as superior without commensurate achievements. 
Number two, believes that he or she is special and unique and can only be understood by or associate with other special people. Number three, requires excessive admiration, meaning you always need attention. Number four, takes advantage of others to achieve his or her own ends. Interesting. Number five, is often envious of others or believes that others are envious of him or her. Number six, shows arrogant, haughty behaviors. Now, haughty means when you think you're basically the bleep, like you're better than everybody. Now, not only are you a narcissistic liar, you also have a borderline personality disorder. But let, let me read though. Number one, frantic efforts to avoid real or imagined abandonment which means you can't be alone. I've proved that in the text messages between us, but we'll get into that later. Number two, inappropriate intense anger or difficulty controlling anger, frequent displays of temper, constant anger, and recurrent physical actions. I've never went to go get a lab. I've never went to go get checked. Don't, don't, don't y'all think about it. Like, am I making any sense to y'all? No, you're not making any sense to us. So moving forward, Jason also said this. But I never said anything. Notice I have not said one word about this situation. I've never brought it up. Your buddy is doing your dirty work for you. And he says it himself. I personally told Jason, you do not have to say nothing, bro. I mean, your best friend posts something about your relationship. You're not going to know about, oh yeah, I didn't know that he would post that. No, you guys teamed up to do this little attack on Instagram. Jason posts his little I'm single paragraph. He says, I know I definitely got you guys to help me. I appreciate everyone that's been supporting me. I know a lot of people might switch up. At this time, I don't even care. I just wanna be genuinely happy. This post has been made to clear the air and not to start any problems. 100 sign. Then two hours later, you one of your best friends posts, we already heard this many times, after he been faithful to you, ha 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 ha, did nothing but support and love you. Yeah, he did nothing but that. You're right, cause you know, you know Nate, you know. I think we distinguished that sick, sick, sick already. And then he also, Nate wanted to say, you made it seem like you was at home too last night when you call. First of all, you need to learn how to speak English, right? Second of all, ain't nobody, ain't nobody called nobody. Matter of fact, me and Jason haven't spoken days prior to that post or whatever to that day. Call, text, nothing. Now you just adding crap to your little post for what? For clout, because this is not your relationship and you wouldn't even know what your friend did to me. Yikes. Let's move forward. Now it's time to get into how Diamond has always been cheating on me. How Diamond has always been cheating on me. To cover up that she was cheating last night. Cheating. We would have to be like in an actual us dating, you know, relationship type stuff. You know, us hanging out, chilling. No, we was not together. We was not together. And it doesn't even matter. Because let's be clear, Jason. What? I'm trying to understand. What is your definition of cheating? Was it me holding hands with somebody? Was it text messages, intimate or any type of text messages between me and somebody else? Was it me kissing somebody else? Was it me being, you know, lovey-dovey, I love you, you love me, Barney type somebody else? Was it? Since we don't know your definition of it, let's hear the definition from Merriam-Webster Dictionary of cheating. Cheating, to secretly have sex with someone other than your husband, wife, or partner. Infidelity, a situation in which someone has sex with someone who is not their husband, wife, or partner, or in this case, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Having sex with somebody, right? That's what it says, okay. Honestly, you would have been better off showing a clip of the fake prank and making something out of that. You was texting other girls, what's up with you? But you <laughs> We won't even get into that, how you hitting girls up in their DMs. So, and the proof that you provided in your No More Lies video was more, gave me more like stalker vibes. You know, like stalker. You really just proved you're a stalker. And you were stalking me when we weren't even dating. And we were not sexually active at all either. As a matter of fact, this was June 5th. Remember this date, June 5th. June 5th. And remember this date. Yes, remember this date. But for what reason? Me and you wasn't dating. And then you showed proof of these messages. Oh my gosh. 
Let's play that part. As a matter of fact, here's my proof. All right, so now that y'all seen. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see it. Is invisible? Cute proof, though. Cute. That was cute. Does that make me a spy for checking where my girlfriend is? My girlfriend is. Girlfriend. Yes, Jason. Was it not your girlfriend? So stop literally like for a long, long time in your video. You was talking about me being your girlfriend. My girlfriend. I, my girlfriend was, I couldn't know where my girlfriend, I'm not your girlfriend. I was not your girlfriend. On June 5th, I was not. Actually, you even did a video. You, you know, you made it all over social media on how you asked me out. Date one, date two, date three. When you asked me to be your girlfriend was <laughs> July. So no, I wasn't your girlfriend. Me and you was friends. Then he went back, sent me a picture of a house. Yes, I sent him a picture of the house. Now, how did I get a picture of the house? How did you get a picture of the house? Do you hear? Just keep running it, please. Google Maps. But how did I have the address? But how did you have the address? You searched it on Google Maps. Yes, we hear you. And I'm just thinking, I was just your friend, you feel? And Alexa, Alexa, you hear me? Play Obsessed by Mariah Carey. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I wanna know. Lying that you're sexing me when everybody knows. It's clear that you're obsessed with me. Oh, well. It's clear that you're obsessed with me. Oh, well. That's how I was feeling. Like, damn. I was just your friend. Well, let me tell y'all something, guys. Let me tell y'all something, guys. Jason didn't just take a picture of the house. He actually put the video of him pulling up to the house. Hey, Diamond! Hey, remember this! Hey, Diamond! So you're honking, screaming my name. Why didn't you also send this video? Damn, this is funny. This is funny. And then you try to hide the car. Oh, yeah. This is funny. Damn, bitch. Okay, remember that. You going viral. Where you're walking up on the property to the cars. Doing the absolute most. Honking, screaming. Coming on prop someone else's property. For someone that's not even your girlfriend. And on June 5th, the way he got that picture of the house and you know searched up the address or location on google maps was because me and my friends yeah share location you know and me and him were friends that was what we were and there was nothing more than just friends and us filming videos and if i would have known he, if i would have known he was a stalker i wouldn't have gave him my location you kept going on and on about how's your girlfriend how the hell would it not be my place to know where my girlfriend is and you know i need to know where she's at if you guys your girlfriend wasn't doing this you need to know where she's at and this goes on to reminding me about your narcissistic borderline disorders so me and jason started dating on july 15th now this is a fact that needed to be discussed that's when you asked me to be your girlfriend on july 15th and then i ended the relationship on august 14th you broke up with me august 14th you heard it right and clear august 14 when you choked me yes august 14 you still can't seem to remember that day and what had happened and i said i don't want to be with you anymore and you reacted and you said don't say that shit again you put me against the wall don't say that shit again was what had happened and that is why i had to play along with you after that situation so that way you wouldn't come at me any type of other way now for that being a month, technically, almost a month of us full on dating, we was together 24 seven. I'm always with her. I can't remember in the months been of us dating, us not together. When you see him, you see me. When you see me, you see him. We was always together because he never wanted to be separate from me, which I thought was like a cute thing, clingy thing, but really, 
it was more of a sense that you couldn't be alone. You didn't like being, sleeping alone, being alone, none of that. You even said it yourself. You I'm always with her. No man should ever put their hands on a woman. No, they should not. You don't respect me if you do that. You don't respect me as a person, as a human being, as a, as a figure, as a person. You don't respect me. So what do I owe you? Nothing. There's a lot of things I could have done in that moment of time when you put your hands on me and you choked me to the point where I could not speak anymore. Yes, there's a lot of things I could have done. We went the sweetest route ever. My dad tried to set up a meeting with you and your parents to talk about what, have you, what you have done to me and to end our relationship with everybody there, with their family and my family there. That was helping you, you know? That was helping you. However, my mom also sent this message to Jason saying that she was going to call the police because she wanted to if he ever came by the house again. Our goal wasn't to get you arrested. Our goal wasn't to do none of that. It was to get you help and just for you to leave me alone, really. But to do it in front and confront you about it in front of adults, real adults. I played it along because you couldn't take the answer no. And you told me to never say that shit again. So basically, I'm just a possession and item to you. It doesn't matter what I feel, what I say, and what I what I like don't want. It doesn't matter. Right then and there, I learned your true real colors as a person and your character and your feelings towards females and women and me. But if I'm not an abuser, then that means you're making up a fake story, right? When I when I hit you, it, it was to grab right. your attention. It's fine. Make you look my way, bro. I can't make up the marks you made on my neck. I can't make up the text message between us. Also, I can't make up when you said what you said on that conversation we had on August 30th. You broke up with me August 14th, so I'm not understanding why you're still calling me babe. You're not understanding? Well, let's make it clear for you, Jason. I had to do what I had to do and play along with you, like I said. But I'm gonna repeat it so you can understand this time. And as controlling, obsessive, and observant as you are, Jason, in our relationship, you would have told everybody, like you said, I would have told every, I, you know I would tell everybody if you weren't the one that had put those marks on my neck. You would have told everybody that. You would have told everybody, hey, there's marks on Diamond's neck and I don't know where they came from. But you didn't. You're telling us you never seen the marks on my neck? And all of which you haven't addressed in your No More Lies video in hour 37 minutes. Now what does that tell you? And before I get into the messages between us that you didn't address, let's get into the messages that you did address. Matter of fact, on August 30th, I think I tried to break up with you. Oh my gosh, you tried to break up with me. What did I respond? So I said, I'm not going to lose myself because I know the person who I really am. And I just want to say it was good while it lasted, but we're officially done. Just go in the lane you wanted to go in and don't look back. And you know what she said? The lane I want to go in is the one I've been in. I'm still here for you whenever you need me. And I hope you're there for me too. I'm still here for you whenever you Damn! You just Damn! You need some reading lessons. Let me read it for you guys more fluently. I'm still here for you whenever you need, and I hope you're there for me too. Now that is what I responded. That's basically being some peaceful go ahead, but as long you know what I mean. Like you said what she's okay. You saying that, and I was just chilling back, saying, "Was I sitting here saying no? What no? But don't leave me. No, <laughs> I try to break up with you. I said I'm still for." I'm, I said, I'm still here for you whenever you need, and I hope you're there for me too. So you want to be robotic and shit, let's be robotic. Then you texted me, do you remember where I put my memory card? Now, all of what you were, you, you brought this message up on August 30th. Remember August 30th, you guys heard that date already. Do you remember where I put my memory card? And I said, and then I didn't say nothing. And then he goes, we're going to talk later, one-on-one. -on -one. And I said, okay, which goes back to that video recording that I have of our conversation. I, I just, I'm questioning, Jason, if you already put that, that part of when you tried to break up with me. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why didn't you scroll down more? You know, I'm reading the same exact messages you put. So why didn't you just scroll down more when you said, we're gonna talk later one-on-one? -on -one. I said, okay. Then he sends me a screenshot of my tweet that says violence is never okay. And someone said, if he's hitting you, he's not the one no matter what. 
And then you go, you know this post is not okay. Sad face, sad face, on my way home. And then I said, okay. And he said, we're gonna meet up at Albert's, which is like this Haitian restaurant. And I said, perfect place. And he said, I want it to be in public and everything. And he's like, go now. And I said, one second. And after we had met up at that restaurant that night, which that's where the video recording is from, that conversation that we were having, this is at 10.55, so we left like pretty late. And I said, Jason, be safe, okay? Call me if you need. And this is because he, we were talking or whatever at, at the restaurant, and then when we went to go leave or whatever, he started hysterically crying about what he had did to me because I kept confronting him and saying, bro, like, I'm not okay. Like, I'm not, like, this is not gonna work. You know, like, this is not okay. And you know he was like i'm sorry i'm sorry like and he just started crying so then he like drove off like out of anger like you know like anger and like literally just bawling and i've never seen him bawl like that also he was crying and then he left so that's why i texted him saying that because you're driving off hysterically crying and stuff and i know like that's not a good way to drive like you can easily crash then he texts me back saying a screenshot of the same screenshot that says violence is never okay and he's like bruh and I said, what's up? And he's like, why is that still up? And then I said, got you, because he kept like, you know, I felt bad or whatever. Don't have to feel bad for you. I didn't have to delete it, but you know, I did post saying like, violence is never okay, like kind of hinting at what had happened between me and him. Then I sent a picture of like my food or whatever, because I went out to meet up with my best friend. And then he's like, you're wasting your money. You literally just ate, da da da. And he's like, please do not talk about me to anyone. I don't care how close you are with them. The reason why he's saying like, he said the paragraph, I'm not gonna lose myself and like why we met up and all this stuff was because I was distancing myself so like much. You know, when you're just, obs I was just distancing myself and he knew what he had done because he apologized multiple times. He kept accusing me of doing things and he was just like, honestly like, you know, messed up from the whole situation because of what was going on and I was not with it no more. And he knew that I was not with it no more. And then you say, How come when we was in a relationship, you never pointed out to anyone that I was abusing you? How come I didn't tell anybody that you were abusing me and I didn't bring it up to anyone? But I did bring it up to you clearly from what we have went over already. I brought it up to my best friend Jasmine the day after it happened. Happened. She was the first person that I brought it up to because she's seen the marks on my neck. Then I brought it up to my dad on August 16th to be exact because like I said, I remember it. This is my story. This is how it went. My mom also knew about it. And my brother ended up knowing about it a few a, a few weeks later, like right on the Dominican Republic trip is when he found out about it. So yeah, I did bring it up to many people, which results into all these text messages that you didn't even include. He actually, he brought up the text messages, but didn't complete them, which kind of seemed kind of fishy to me, but let's hear what he has to say. I wanted to see her so bad that day is because we were not on good terms. As a matter of fact, it says it on there. Look, y'all. Yes, we're looking. You're right. We weren't on good terms. I wonder why. Why weren't we on good terms, Jason? I'd be trying to fix the problem. Yes, you were trying. You're trying to fix the problem because you wanted to see me so bad. Now let's read the rest of the messages that you left out. I know I can't fix it over the phone because Diamond does not like to listen to me. Is it that I don't listen to you? Or is it that you don't really want to hear what I have to say? Because if it's not what you want to hear, it's not. It's not okay. If you're lacking energy on me, I'm gonna try to do what I need to do to get my energy from you. Right. So this is the messages. So it starts off Bay, and I said, yes. And he's like, I'm gonna see you later tonight. And I said, I'm on my way to Jasmine's, like five minutes away from her house. And he's like, bet, just be free from 11.30 and up. And I said, why, what's going on? And then he put arrows to like, just be free and I said we're not on good terms dog what are you talking about and he's like there's no rules I said I'm gonna see you and I said you're making rules I said I'm busy because this was August 20th and I was like that was when I was like very like it started hitting me really like more and more and more and I, when I was already hanging out with my friend Jasmine and I, I was telling her bro look at what he's saying like I'm not meeting him up to do nothing and then he's like yo I don't give a f what terms we on you still my girlfriend I said I'm gonna see you in his head I'm still his girlfriend. Like I said, you touch me, that's it. It's over. I told you I wanted to be done and you couldn't take it. And he goes, so stop asking, bringing stuff up because I said I'm going to see you, like I said. And I said, LMFAO, we'll, we'll see. You don't own me. Because you don't. The way he's talking, you act like you own me. Like, 
I, you don't give a F what terms we on. I'ma see you like I said. Oh, uh-uh. And then he goes, you expect me to be better when you're not even letting me. Like, you close the door in my face and I can't even get to you. Because I don't want to be around you. You're crazy, dog. Like, you're crazy. And then when I'm around you, I have to be all nice and hee 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 hee. It's easy to be nice and hee 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 over text messages. But in person, it's like, bro, like, no, bro. Like, you feel? Like, that stuff you did to me, I don't appreciate. And he goes, I know. I want to get past that. You're not letting me. And I said, you didn't just do it once. And he goes, well, the ball's in your hand now. I'm trying, but if you can't accept that, then I don't know. And I said, I don't know if I'm comfortable with the things you've done to me. So I was bringing it up to him gradually. And he's like, same. So I think he was saying same as he's not comfortable with the things he's done. So I was like, things I've done, what, what have I done? I've just been distant because I was confused. I was like, what have I done? All I've been was distant because of some stuff you done did to me. And he goes, all right. I said, physically. And he goes, physically, whoa. And then I go, what do you mean by whoa? And then he puts sad faces. And I said, you think you can apologize and it all goes away? And he goes, no. And I said, okay then. And he goes, see you later. Be free around 11.30 and up. I didn't hang out with him. I was at my friend's house. And then he goes, hi, baby. And then didn't answer. And he goes, yo. And then I'm like, I'm staying at Jasmine's. I'll see you another time. And he's like, no, no. Stop doing that. Every time you keep pushing me away, I'd be trying to be with you. No, I don't care. I'm not trying to be with you. You feel? And, but he's always like persistent. And then another time is also, he's like, I'm coming over and I said, I'm working right now. Like I kept trying to make excuses, you know, but like every excuse I made was always like, he goes, okay, that's fine. And he's like, God damn, you didn't even like my picture or comment. And I was like, what picture? And he goes, a recent one from earlier. And I said, okay. And he's like, damn, you gave up on me. I gave up on you because I didn't like a picture on your, I didn't like your Instagram picture. How do you even know if I seen it or not? And then he goes, I see. I never gave up on you, bruh. I've always been with you and damn, this is how it is now. Yes, this is how it is. And then I said, LOL, what are you saying, dog? I'm straight. Like I was playing it off. Like, yeah, I'm straight. Like, what do you mean? I'm chilling. Also, where he had apologized to me, he texted me this like a few days after he had put his hands on me. He goes, babe, I feel like you're going through something right now or you're stressed out. Whatever it is, I'm here for you. Keep your head up. I said, thank you. Like dry as hell because what? You feel like you're, I'm going through something right now? Yes, something you put me through. And he goes, like, I know words don't mean anything, but I'm so sorry for how I made you feel. Like, it truly hurts me, and I'll never, I'll make sure that never happens again. I just want us to be us again. And I know it won't happen overnight, but it will happen. I love you, baby. And then I said, it's okay. When knowing it's not okay. Someone will ask you, are you fine? And you just be like, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. But you're not okay. You feel like you're not. But I'm not going to sit here and... Like, you, you don't want to put me through this, you feel? So moving forward, like I said, my dad's video, he's a third-party person. My dad doesn't know the dates of everything. He doesn't know the details. And that's what Jason was pointing out throughout this whole video is that my dad is a liar because he doesn't know this. He didn't, he didn't have the right date on this and that. Like, it's not between me and him and you. It's between me and you, so. What happened that day, I will never forget. I walked into Diamond's room. As a matter of fact, he said he walked into Diamond's room, right? But didn't he just say he called her on the phone? I just got on the phone, called her, and I said, Diamond, what's going on? So now you're just manipulating and twisting up the whole, his, my dad's whole story. You talking about, one, let's, let's just zoom into the text messages of when he said he was on the phone. And I asked him to come to the studio. That's at eight o'clock at night on August 14th, okay? And my dad didn't know this. He didn't even, I didn't, he didn't know till August 16th. My dad made that mistake in his video. He doesn't know the dates. Not everybody, if you, if I ask you today, what do you remember what you were wearing August 16th? You're not gonna know. Or do you remember what happened to your best friend on August 16th, what she was doing? You're not gonna know because that's not you and you're in that position or you're not gonna remember those details. Did she, did he walk in the room or did he call her? He, what? Those are two different time frames. He said in the morning, he walked in the room in the morning and then you play and then you switch up and cut apart saying when he says that he called me on the phone talking about the studio, that he was like confused as to why I'm inviting him to my studio session. There is a reason why I was inviting him to my studio session, but he didn't know why I was inviting him to my studio session. So let's play my abuse story where I talk about the day you put your hands on me and how it happened chronologically. So my dad was about to leave to work and he said bye to me and Jason and then he noticed that Jason like brought me flowers. So there it is, I said it myself on August 14th how it went down and that was the day that you put your hands on me. 
later that day, not in the morning, later that day, which I explained already in my story that you did not point out. Let me show y'all that I was actually with her that day. Big, turn around real quick. You want to know how we know? Because in my abuse story, maybe if you would have watched it or put that part in, I said... I'm going to answer a video when he was actually at my house that morning, like... What are you doing? Yo, God. You have every f***ing shoe Jordan ever made in their life, dog. <laughs> so as you can see... At the end of that video, I'm holding the flowers and stuff. And he, the reason why he bought me flowers was to apologize about the little disagreements we were having in LA a few days before this. And then later that day, that those same arguments that were happening prior to this day or whatever came up again. And I was telling him I didn't want to be with him anymore. And then he choked me. Slide with some food. But I thought I came unexpectedly. I thought you didn't know I was coming. Before we move forward, I also want to say that I'm going to admit to my faults as well. I did not realize when he had came to my hair salon. Jason came to my hair salon unannounced. I did not know he was coming at all. He didn't text me about him coming at all. And I said in my abuse story, he came unannounced. And that was when the last time I saw him. I felt scared and I did feel shocked. Like it was like, what the hell when he had came to this, the hair salon? Even my hair lady knows that too, because I was like, when he left, I was like, what the hell? Like, why did he just pop up like that? Like it shocked me, like my heart literally dropped. So that's why I said what I said in my B story, not knowing and not realizing that I did text him saying slide with some food. I didn't realize that because he never texted me back. And that was like an hour, an hour later that he had came to the salon. So I was just literally caught off guard i didn't realize that i said that so i apologize for making that little mistake but other than that and then jason you try to say oh well but how come on september 10th you was at my house a matter of fact here's the proof why did you come to my house then da 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 actually i also did forget to mention so i apologize this because i didn't mean to not bring this up but you called me after the fact of that you left the hair salon and you said right after you leave make sure you come by so i can see how you look and then i said okay so then when i left i told you okay i'm going to stop by so i stopped by which i did just drive i literally just drove because he lives right down the block i drove to his house Stop by, that's why you can see my car's not parked in the driveway or nothing. Stop by, said hi, and literally left, like right after that. Literally left. Did not hang out, chill with you. We haven't chilled in a while. Prior to that and that day, we haven't chilled, like hung out, sleepover type stuff in a while. So moving forward, I had said in my video that I was in the booth when he had posted his I'm single post and they had posted his thing and it went all over social media. And also when my dad had posted on Instagram the video of him saying what he was saying on my Instagram, I was in the booth and Jason questioned it. So now you're telling me you was in the booth when you found out this happened, but when your dad was recording, he was in your room. Okay, theorist. Okay, scientist. When he was in your he was in your room, but you were in the booth. I didn't know I had to be in my room for anyone to be in my room. You could just my door is not locked. You could just walk through my room. I mean, did you guess it? Whoosh! You was wrong. <laughs> but why, out of every place in that big house that you have, why would he be in your room? He could be in my room because he wanted good lighting. I don't know. He chose to be in my room because the situation had to deal with me. I don't know. He chose to be in my room because in his video, he pulled out the my bed sheets and what it says and stuff. I don't know. It could be any reason. Why don't you ask him? I don't know. Actually, I made this little video after I got out the booth and seen everything on social media. I made this video on Snapchat in the studio. Hey, guys. It's Diamond. And I just wanted to say, yes, I've seen everything. I've been seeing these things i haven't really been on my phone i haven't had time to sit here and talk to y'all i seen what my dad posted that is out of my control i also know that your dad does not know how to edit so so who edit the video because i know he did it oh he doesn't know how to edit oh okay well not only does he have a personal editor and videographer which not i'm just gonna bring up how the things the videos that my dad posts on his instagram the professional clear ass 
crazy like put together videos he has a personal editor and filmer for all that. I don't even know. My dad's more tech than me because, bid that he's speedy. All that stuff I did not help him with. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, all these professional videos and the way it was edited and all the things that he posts is by a personal editor. So yeah. And the funny thing is, while I was cooking up some real heat in the studio, you and your friend Nate was cooking up your next clout chasing little scheme and how to mess up Diamond one on one and talk crap and start problems one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Baby, I know it hurts that you can't have me. I know it hurts. I know he wants this, but he can't have it. But let's keep going though. You're the one who's having sex with me. We're always having sex to... <sighs> Had to guess something real quick. You're always talking about how in bragging about how we've had sex and all this stuff and we're always having sex really were we because all i have really thought it was was foreplay didn't seem like that much of sex to me the way you bragging about having have having sex having sex with me i can't really do the same <sighs> Well, let's keep going though because in orlando we have the apartment we have the we we have the i know you don't know how to speak french now but you talk about we bit we have the apartment buyers apartment the apartment that i have on my name that i pay the bills for with my own money my name, my own money, the bills. I bet you don't even know what day I have to pay the bills on when the do the water bills do. No, you don't know. This is my apartment. You talk about talking about some weed. Have the apartment in Orlando. That's actually close to my school, my university. Yes, that I attend. That I attend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, that I. Attend that I attend. Oh my gosh, what is this, guys? Oh my gosh, what is that? That I attend. I don't, I don't understand. Don't understand. Like, damn, you claim everything that's not yours. This is mine, 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 mine. It's not yours. You be claiming everything. Apartment, yes, my girlfriend. And as if that wasn't enough, you went on and said this. You didn't tell everyone that you pay someone 900 a semester for them to do your online classes. You didn't tell anyone that. Some 900 a semester? Damn! Damn! just graduated high school in May. I just started college, so you talking about 900 semester. It's fall right now. What you talk about? You what? What you talk about? <laughs> you don't even go to Orlando. You don't even go to that campus. I don't even see you working on school stuff. <laughs> I don't go to Orlando and I don't go to that campus. Really? So this is not these are not videos and pictures of me going to that campus doing schoolwork in class i mean you want to you want to go through my like you want to see my notes you want to see my notebook because you know you just lying because you know you see me do schoolwork and you just capping for the just capping for the cap guys like just cap 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 damn <laughs> I never am in Orlando, so why the hell would I still have my apartment when I'm never there? I was just there the other day. I'd be going back and forth all the time. All the time. It's not that far. About two hours away, and I'd be going back and forth all the time. Here's me in class. Here's me on campus. Here's me in Orlando. But I never, ne never say never, buddy, because I'd be there, and you know that. You... <laughs> Can I just, let me just whip this 30 inches because y'all, y'all this is tripping. Y'all this is capping. Oh my God, they cap, they cap way too much, dog. Not only did I just graduate high school in May, this past May, and it's October now, but I also graduated with a 4.7 GPA. And I also graduated with 30 college credits. 30 college credits. 
I graduated high school with 30 college credits, which is more college credits than you ever have seen in your life. You haven't, you, you went to college, but you dropped out. But I made more than you when I was just in high school. And you a year older than me. So don't be putting your things on me now. Don't be putting your things on me. Not only did I graduate high school with 30 college credits and a 4.7 GPA, but I also got Florida Bright Futures, which has to do with your SAT and ACT scores. But I'm not gonna explain. I'm not gonna say none of my scores because that's crazy. I'm gonna be just doing too much. But also I was part of NHS, National Honor Society. I was part of HOSA, Health Occupation Students of America for four years. Hold on, I didn't need to read it because it's a list. I also had over 300 hours of volunteer community service hours. I'm EKG certified, emergency medical responder certified, and National Academy Sports of Medicine certified, which means I have the qualifications to be a personal trainer at LA Fitness and work a job right now. And I also have my certification for phlebotomy tech. I have CMAA certification, PCT, patient care technician certification. And on top of all that, I was captain of the dance team for four years and did sports as well, track, basketball, all of that, all in high school. And I did YouTube. I'm not academically, I'm academic. You try to make it seem like I'm academically challenged. <laughs> Baby, me and you is not the same. You try to make it seem like I don't care about my academics, but I can't make up my HPA. I can't make up my SAT, ACT scores. I can't make up Florida Bright Future. I can't make up none of that. My leadership roles, I can't make none of that up. And then you have the audacity to say that I'm spoiled actually she's attracted to things going her way you know why because you made her that way you spoiled her so much and when he says you he's talking to my dad like he was talking to my dad the whole video you spoiled her so much all the things i did in high school and the things that i'm doing now that I don't really have to do, but I do it because I like to take care of myself. I like to pay my own bills. I just bought a car actually in my own name with my own cash and all outright a few days ago. I like to do things for myself. That's why I did what I did in high school. That's why I do what I do today. Not because anyone has to give it to me. None of that was given to me. Grades, this and that, all of that's hard work. All of that is being consistent and having time management skills. All of that is what it is. So if that's what's being spoiled means, then I don't really understand. With your 2.7 GPA, I can kind of see as to why you don't know what spoiled equals. And it's not anything that has to do with somebody that's hardworking and gets their own. Somebody that hasn't asked their parents for money in years. Somebody that's been getting a paycheck since 14. Somebody that's 18 years old and has their own apartment and pays their own bills. In that apartment with their own money. Everything has to go my way. Um, I've learned a lot in sports and I've learned a lot in everything that I've done and it, nothing comes easy. Nothing comes easy. Getting into your colleges, doing all that, doing all this schoolwork, studying for your SATs and ACTs, not everything goes your way. <sighs> this reminds me of the book where it says, you think people are envious of you, but really you're envious of others. That goes back to your personality disorder, bro. And honestly, oh my gosh, this is exhausting and annoying having to keep hearing and just talking about a narcissistic, borderline liar. So these past few months have honestly been a really good learning experience for me and I'm happy that I'm still here till this day and I'm here to talk to you guys, you know, in flesh, on camera about the situation that happened to me and able to share my story with not only my supporters but also other domestic victims, domestic violence victims or dating violence victims. So I'm happy that I'm able to share my side and my story and to show that you can actually get out and you can move forward and you can be a, per a better person and you can be the person that you always aspire to be and not to let you know these incidents that other people or these men have pushed you down and pushed you in. Situations like this will either make you or break you and honestly with this stuff it's really made me so much stronger. My name wasn't Diamond, I wasn't named Diamond for no reason. 
you know? So you're gonna have to put more than pressure to make me fold. And at this time, the situation is in the hands of the law and it is being taken care of through that. So also, I just wanted to say thank you guys for everyone that has been there for me and that has always stuck by me and stuck by my side. You know, it's not about proving people wrong or making people change their minds, but now I'd rather have a genuine following that really knows me than have a fake following that really isn't there for me. And I'm really happy because honestly, I'm finally free and I'm finally able to be myself and I can do things I want to do and not be controlled and, you know, I don't have to put on an act or anything. And it's honestly a really good feeling to be able to move forward. And with that being said, I have also invested my money into future projects to help other victims of domestic abuse because my situation was a situation, but every situation is different. Everything is taken care of different. Some people are still in a situation that they feel like they can't get out and it's, it's not. It's something that can really destroy someone's life, you know, that can kill you. So yes, I'm making sure that I'm putting, I'm putting my efforts to help others as well that have been a victim like I have as well. Also, do not forget to like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I would like to say that this is the end, and I'm excited to get back to my banger videos, y'all. Diamonds flawless, team flawless, we here. Next to me, ho. Yeah, I'm what you call clatchy. A little classy, a little ratchet. My mama hated, but she raised a bad bitch. Okay. I know he want this, but he can't have it. Hell no. I ain't average. I'm a savage. Face beat, you could tell by my lashes. Oh